I remember Jamie uh, seeing for the first time, I think it was in Old Belvedere Gym, um, and you know, the academy we're in at that stage, and Jamie's in the academy. And um, yeah, like he always had something a little bit more diff different about him. Um, I'd seen him play a few underage games, and um, he, was, he, was, he was very much a standout for his age group. Um, you know, very strong physically, so he was always really well developed. And um, yeah, he was, uh, he was always someone you, you looked at and said, like, he's, he's going to make it through. It was 24/7, so he was for him. So, um, you know, it's you know for 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 players like it's about trying to get a balance, you know. And you know, Jamie was very good at having a balance. So when he was in work mode, he was at work, you know, in terms of his training and always pushing himself to get better. Um, you know, always researching, you know, new ways of doing things. Um, so yeah, he very much was somebody that you know set the standard in terms of how how we recovered. How we trained, all sorts of like in terms of nutrition, etc. So, um, and you know he's he was amazing. Like he's shown amazing resilience in terms of you know fronting out all the time. His ability just to rock out for training after really really big games, um, and he was always just so consistent in his preparation. So, yeah, like he, it's amazing the fact that he's having to retire now through injury based off. Of all the players I've come across, he's probably been the most resilient. So, um, yeah, it's it's a uh, it's a sad day in many ways, but it's it's also you know for for us in Leinster rugby, I think it's important that we celebrate one of the greatest players that's probably ever played for Leinster. So, um, yeah, I remember the day he passed me as the most capped forward, um, and I thought you know he's going to go on and win you know a ton more caps because it just didn't seem to be any sign of him slowing up, Jamie. So, it's. Um, yeah, he's had, he's had a very, very, very impressive career. Very much with my Leinster hat on, um, you know, the, the three moments I think would pick in all the, th the three finals that Leinster, the three European finals. So, uh, obviously his try in 2009, um, you, you can still picture it, you know, where we're, you know, he's almost dragging us back into the game where he fights his way over the try line with Shane Jennings, giving a bit of a help along the way. Um, in the 2011 final against Northampton, where you know he runs a very clever line and blocks a Northampton defender, gets a off, uh, gets his pass away to Johnny Sexton, but continues on and just prevents that tackler from getting back to stop Johnny. But Johnny gets in for a try, um, and then in um, I'm going to say in 2012 in that European Cup final as well, but. Uh, there's also another moment for me which is quite special as well because in my last game here in the RDS, uh, Jamie was actually the captain against uh, Glasgow in that Pro 12 final, uh, which was my last game, but he let uh, myself and Brian go up to it and lift the trophy, whereas he should have been really the person that did it. So, um, yeah, he was a great, he was a great character in the dressing room. Um, and, um, yeah, no, we'll, we'll, be certainly, we'll certainly miss him. For you know, for what Jamie's delivered, it's just it's it's excellence in what he has delivered. So um, I think the impact that he has in terms of raising the overall standard and you know the confidence in going out and executing on big days, uh, I think that's will be. He's very much part of that legacy.